Doctors in Haiti battle to save the lives of hundreds of people, both young and old, in makeshift hospital tents on Monday. Three days after a major earthquake, the death toll has topped over 1,400, and health officials say that number is likely to rise. One local resident described the chaos following Saturday's 7.2 magnitude earthquake. This hotel, Le Manguier, there were 13 people living in this hotel, and then that happened at about 8 in the, in the morning, and then there were some dead people and there were some living people. And then until now, they are looking for some people on the ground, but they, they can't find them. They are still looking for them. The earthquake brought down tens of thousands of buildings, including churches, hotels, schools, and over 37,000 homes. Rescue teams scramble to dig out survivors ahead of tropical storm Grace, hovering over the island's southern coast. Local residents confirmed heavy rain has already caused flooding near the worst hit areas, exacerbating the humanitarian crisis. The U.S. National Hurricane Center forecast Grace would douse the quake zone with up to 15 inches of rain through Tuesday. Meanwhile, the United Nations has called for a humanitarian corridor to pass aid through gang-held territories. Colombia and the U.S. dispatched search and rescue teams, along with vital supplies, while Mexico promised to support Haiti in its recovery.